Okay, this is the Buzz UG and my name is uh, Melaz Mino aka Fula. Subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Thank you so much for following right here on YouTube and also following me the other side of TikTok. Melaz Mino aka Fula. I'm back to keep you posted on the biggest stories making headlines in the country. Now, the U.S. government has advised U.S. citizens to reconsider traveling to Uganda doing any businesses in Uganda because there are potential risks if they are contemplating on doing so. In other words, Uganda is not safe right now, according to the U.S. government. Well, in part of the statement issued to the U.S. citizens, they said, businesses, organizations, and individuals should be aware of potential financial and reputational risks resulting from endemic corruption described in more detail in the 2023 investment climate statement as well as violence against human rights activists, media members, health workers, minority groups, LGBTQ persons and political opponents. Yes, uh, that is a statement coming in from uh, the U.S. government, uh, of course, uh, directed to the U.S. citizens who are contemplating on coming to Uganda to do business or even to study or to do anything right here in Uganda. Well, this statement comes after two foreign tourists were killed in Queen Elizabeth National Park and a Ugandan tour guide. And of course, according to the Uganda police, uh, ADF rebels are responsible for that killing right there. If you have anything you want to say about this story, the comment section is very open for you. Away from that, Kampala Metropolitan Police have arrested two male adults who were caught red-handed sodomizing each other in a saloon in Rubaga Division. The suspects are both 23 years and uh, right now are in police custody on charges of practicing unnatural offences. It should be remembered that Uganda police have heightened efforts to apprehend suspects who engage in unnatural practices ever since the anti-homosexuality law was passed in Uganda this year.